time you've been broke? Huh? Look at somebody and say, this ain't the first time you had the raw Peter to pay Mark, Luke, and John. Come on, help me in here. But it's in those times when you think you're at the bottom that you discover that there is a rock at the bottom. Who is this rock? His name is Jesus, son of the living God. Preach, boy. Watch this. Watch this. So, so, so Thomas has a problem here. Thomas has a problem. Huh? But in chapter 13, even, even, even Peter finds himself asking, Lord, what you talking about? Huh? Huh? Oh, inquisitive Peter. But Jesus extends, if you will, his dialogue. And now they're around this other table and they're talking. She said, listen, I'm going to leave out of here. Huh? And he chimes in in chapter 14 at the top and he says, let not your heart be troubled. Huh? <sighs> Don't you worry. Huh? Don't you fret. Huh? Because I am is right here. He says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also. Oh, you know it, don't you, huh? Oh, you know the only time you read is when you at funerals, huh? Look at the lady and say, we ain't at no funeral right here. Everybody in here is alive and well. And I can stand flat footed and tell you, come on, help me in here. Let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. Mm. Uh, in my father's house are many mansions. Now, watch this, watch this, watch this, because before you get caught up on the mansions, since you think you're going to be in Beverly Hills. Huh? Huh? <laughs> but of historicity, the mansion is not necessarily how we deem a mansion, but, but it's equivalent, if you will, to a small apartment. Go back and look at it. it it's, it's equivalent to a small. So, so when you hear folk talk about, you know, I got me a 25 bedroom mansion over there in Heavenly Boulevard. Come on, help me in here. Huh? Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. The excitement is good, but the context is wrong. Huh? And the joy about heaven is not the fact that you got some place to stay. It's the fact that you ain't got to ever worry about being sick no more. You missed that. The fact is you ain't got to ever worry about being hungry no more. The fact is that you can be walking around heaven and you got some golden slippers. You got a robe and you can shout. the day. Holy, holy, holy. Uh, and so, 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 so when you know why you get into heaven in the first place, you ain't gonna be spending too much time in the house anyway. Preach, boy. Uh, I'm gonna be spending around, I'm, I'm gonna be spending time around the throne of the one who died for me. Can I put a big mark right here and chase this rabbit? Now, don't, don't, don't you know down here is a dress rehearsal for what you're going to do up here? That's why I have a problem with church folk who can't ever open up their mouth, can't ever lift up their hands, can't ever say amen. Because if you're uncomfortable doing it down here, you're going to be uncomfortable doing it up there. And so, Jesus says, Thomas, I hear you. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. I hear you. He said, well, he said, well, you know, how? Can, can, can I read it for y'all? He said, Thomas said, listen, you know, he said, we don't know whether thou going. What, what, where are you going? He said, and, and how can we know? You mean tell me you leaving and we can't go with you? I mean, I mean, we've been everywhere else with you. Stay with me, stay with me. Huh? We've been traveling with you. Yeah. And we are, huh? Are gonna have to stay here? And you're leaving us? We feel abandoned when folk inadvertently leave us after we have developed a relationship with yeah. them. Come on, help me in here. But as a matter of fact, brothers and sisters, put your mind in the mindset of these disciples and you've been married to a booker. Mm -hmm. Come on, 
Don't help me in here. Huh? Hooked up wood. All of a sudden he say I'm gonna leave. But well, watch this. What if you've been married to a great brother? Come on, sister. Huh? Married to him? The love of your life. Great provider? Huh? You don't have to lift a finger. Talk back to me if you can. Huh? And all of a sudden, he has to leave. What do you mean? What, what, what are you talking about? Where are you going? Huh? Jesus said, I'm going. I, I, I got to get out of here. Now you can't go. And Thomas says, Lord, we know not where you're going. Look at your neighbor and say, some things ain't none of your business. Your job is to trust what I'm telling you. As a matter of fact, that's the reason why you saw me. That's the reason why you saw me do everything I did. It wasn't for fanfare. It was to gain the trust of the folk that were following me. Because when I'm gone, greater works can. But y'all don't read your Bible. Can you do So he says, okay, I got an answer for you, Thomas. I got an answer for you. He says, watch this. I am, I am. the way. Yeah. I am the way. Yeah. Thomas, uh -huh. all y'all other boys out there, yeah. I am yeah. the way. Yeah. Uh -huh. now watch this. Jesus, as the way, moves us from total ruin to right relation, come on y'all, to him. Now, just in case you need a theological term here, the word is reconciliation. Paste the picture of Jesus between God and man, and Jesus has one hand in God's hand, another hand in man's hand, and he, come on, help me, he, he reconciles us. Look at your neighbor and say, I've been reconciled because God through his son took my hand and put my hand in the hands of the man who holds my future. That's why I can stand up flat footed and say, now the steps of a good man are all right. I'm only good because I'm in his hand. It ain't that I crossed every T, dotted every I, curved every J, but he justified me and he reconciled me. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. We may not finish. Watch this. The way. Look at them say the way. The way. The root word for way is the word hodos, H O D O S. From a literal perspective, hodos refers to a thoroughfare for travel. A thoroughfare. Uh, uh, whether a road, path, or highway. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's illustrated there, if you will, or it's talked about. A reference in Mark chapter 4, verse 4. I don't have time to really deal with it. But it's an extension, or by extension, could refer to the journey itself. Uh, from a metaphorical sense, Hodos was often used to refer to uh, the way of life. Are you in here? The life choices one can make and lifestyle one adopts. Jesus, his use of Hodos is metaphorical, but not in the sense of way of life. He's making a claim very similar to his statement, I am the door in John chapter 10. So Jesus is declaring that there is a single road that leads to God. Are you in here? And that uh, he is the road. So I went all around that tree just to let you know that he is the road. He has not come to show a better way to God. It is not and there never will be a better way to God because there is no other way to God. Yeah. Teach, boy. Yeah. Yeah. And so just in case you're out there, you're looking for a better way uh, to get happy, there is no better way to get happy. Come on, help me in here. Huh? Huh? Because when you're in the wee hours of the night and you thought the mood, Tasted good. It's good for a night, but when the morning comes, it leaves you with a headache. Come on, y'all. Huh? 
And there's no better high than to get caught up in the Holy Ghost. Talk back to me if you can. Uh, he says, listen, I, 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 I am the only way. Paste the picture, paste the picture of, 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 of a gated community. When you go, when you go to the gated community, <clears throat> for those of us who live in the gated community. Listen, dog say y'all on y'all own. Amen. Or for those of you who live in the gated community. Talk back to me if you can. When you pull up to the gate, you tell the guard, you tell the guard, you say, listen, I'm I'm, I'm looking for, for house 227. Uh, take out his pad, write your name down, move to the front of your car, take out your license plate. Huh? <clears throat> he even picks up the phone and calls the owner of the house. Say, listen, do you are you expecting somebody? Come on, help me in here. Huh? They respond and say either yay or nay. <laughs> in this case, because you've been reconciled, the owner says yay. Look at your name and say yay. The owner says, yay. In other words, now when the, uh, 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 when the guard hangs up the phone, the guard says, you are now free to move forward. In other words, you've received clearance. Oh, uh, y'all missing this. Uh, look at your neighbor and say clearance. Uh, that's the reason why you can shout in the midst of your pain. Uh, that's the reason why you can get him out of his habit and gorilla glad in the sanctuary. Because God has already worked it out while you're still trying to figure it out. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, I've received clearance. Uh, that's why I can praise him before I receive my victory. Uh, because I got clearance. Uh, and it's found in Jesus. I've received clearance. 